नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजादीर नष्टाएशो भद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नमः हरे कृष्ण सो टुडे वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन्थ चैप्टर थर्टींथ एंटाइटल्ड Brahma stealing the boys and calves. Text number is sixteen. Tato vatsan drishtvai tya puline pi chavat sapan ubhava pi vani Krishna vichikaya samantataha. ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीच वत्सपान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीच वत्सपान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीचवत्सपान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीचवत्सपान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीच वत्सकान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः मतजी ततो वत्सान दृष्टवैत्य पुलिने पीच वत्सपान उभाव पीवने कृष्णो विचिकाय समंततः वर्ड टू वर्ड मीनिंग ततः देर आफ्टर वत्सान द काव्स अदृष्टवा नॉट सीइंग देर विद इन द फॉरेस्ट एत्य आफ्टर पुलिने पी to the bank of the yamuna ch also vatsapan could not see the cow herd boys ubhav api both of them the calves and the cow herd boys vane within the forest krishna lord krishna vichikaya surged all over 
समंततः हियर एंड देयर ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपर्ट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस शिलाईसी भक्तिवेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद देयर आफ्टर व्हेन कृष्णा वाज अनेबल टू फाइंड द काव्स ही रिटर्न टू द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर बट देयर ही वाज आल्सो अनेबल टू सी द काहर्ड बॉयज thus he began to search for both the calves and the boys as if he could not understand what had happened purport krishna could immediately understand that brahma had taken away both the calves and the boys but as an innocent child he searched here and there so that brahma could not understand krishna's maya this was all a dramatic performance a player knows everything but still he plays on the stage in such a way that others do not understand him om agyanti mirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale swayam rupah kadamayam dadati swapadantikam vandeham shri guru shri utapadakamalam shri gurun vaishnavamscha shri rupam sagrajatam sahagana raghunathan vitam tam sajivam साधवैत सवधूत पिजना सहित कृष्णचैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्णपाद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदातस्वामी नितिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातरिणे वाछाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरतुषे नम हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिये जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ट्रांसलेशन अगेन देर आफ्टर वेन कृष्णा वॉज अनेबल टू फाइंड द काव्स he returned to the bank of the river but there he was unable to see the cowherd boys thus he began to search for both the calves and the boys as if he could not understand what had happened hey krishna so we welcome everybody who have come for the shrimad bhagavatam class today morning i seek blessings and uh, prayers of all the devotees assembled that we can speak something about this transcendental subject matter concerning lord shri krishna and his past times in vrindavan in the 10th canto so since last few days we have seen you know different speakers has eloquently described about this past time of killing of aghasur and thereafter what is happening you know how people are able to understand or misunderstand huh, what krishna is doing so here we see just to brief the past time again so that you know we understand what is the context of today's verse because in today's verse it seems that krishna is confused huh? so just to give the background of what's going on so 
दिस इन आनंद वृंदावन चंपू रिटर्न बाय श्रील कवि कर्णपुर ही डिस्क्राइब्स दिस पास टाइम वेरी नाइसली ही डिस्क्राइब्स दैट वन डे लॉर्ड कृष्णा ही गॉट अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड देन ही रिक्वेस्टेड मदर यशोदा दैट टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू हैव लंच इन द फॉरेस्ट सो प्लीज गिव मी ऑल द डिफरेंट यू नो फूड प्रिपेरेशंस so first she resists that no 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 you can't have it in the forest you have to come back and take prasad here only or have it and then go like that so but he persists no we want to have lunch in the forest with all my cowherd boys so then she starts preparing different food stuffs a big list is given you know of all the milk preparations papad achar and so many things and everything is packed in you know different uh, kinds of uh, you know utensils tiffin tiffin box as prabhupad describes in one of the verses previously that everybody opened their tiffin box so everything is arranged and then all they are tied in clothes and uh, you know krishna all his covered boys they have already come because as soon as krishna and balram they got up so they blew their buffalo horn and all the coward boys have assembled so then krishna starts distributing all this food stuff huh? they have also carried something and he also because it is so much he starts distributing and they all carry on their poles you know, the stick us pe band dete like that so seeing this your mother yashoda gives even more that okay you know it is distributed so i'll give some more and then they go in the forest and while leaving balram ji huh baldev he does not come right so because there is some astrologer he comes and he says that you know today today a yagya has to be performed so balram ji takes permission and he re- he is uh, at home and then they go in the forest and there is a beautiful description of how they are playing in different ways imitating different uh, birds and animals and then they come up to this aghasur and it seems like a very wonderful site for playing huh, with a big mountain cave he describes very nicely that you know the the teeth the eyes of aghasur in anandan champu and the the veins of aghasur which are appearing like with his breath they are you know moving it seems that they are calling everybody inside that come inside you will have very nice time so they see that and uh, they, oh, let us explore you know they are all 5 year old boys so you see 5 year old boys you know they are always in the mood of exploring things so they want to explore but someone says oh this seems to be a snake and they say oh snake you know what will he do hey, we will get kill you know maybe some demon so that krishna will take care come on so then they go inside and krishna shouts from behind stop it is a demon but by the time they are already inside so then krishna goes inside and we have read that you know krishna kills the demon so when the demon is killed and when krishna comes out and the spirit soul enters the body hmm? so first aghasur allowed krishna to enter in his belly and after he was killed krishna allowed him to enter into his body huh? and gave him liberation he allowed him to enter inside with the mood of killing but krishna he allowed to enter the aghasur soul into his body to free him from death huh? liberation so this is how krishna reciprocates so this is all being seen by different demigods they assembled and there was a big uproar are such a big demon killed you know just like yesterday there was some match huh? and uh, i was in hostel and i was speaking and suddenly big uproar some score you know some sixer or someone out so here ragasur is out and everybody is you know rejoicing wow how is this impossible you know such a big demon and how could he be killed by just a 5 year old boy and they have all assembled 
and then they see yes he's been killed and krishna gives him liberation so they are all dancing so anandan champu describes that even brahma ji lord shiva indra and all the demigods they were present huh and they were glorifying the lord and lord shiva in his ecstasy he was dancing so jubilantly that the crescent moon on his head you know, the moon crescent means it is pointed on both the sides so he starts jumping and the crescent moon it pierces the universal hole and some nectar dro- drops from there huh? just like we have heard you know by vaman devs piercing the universal cover you know the ganga came so all these drops of nectar when they fall few of the drops they fall on the skulls garland on lord shiva's neck and the skulls become persons ha huh? the, the the dead bodies ha huh? the dead skulls of those persons they come back to life and they also start dancing with lord shiva huh? so everybody starts laughing are you know he lost a garland but got so many <laughs> got so many associates and they all start dancing and you know everybody is laughing so all of these demigods they have come in their different air carriers huh? some on swans some on bulls and elephant peacock like that so now while they were glorifying all these vehicles are parked so then now they start moving okay past time is over so they all go back and all the apsaras and others dancers you know the drum beaters they all start winding up and they all start going and brahma ji is astonished he sees that when the ghasur is killed and uh, the cowherd boys and krishna you know when the cowherd boys they come out they say oh we were killed how do you re- how did you revive us by th- by this poison we were killed so krishna says that i have a special nectar you know not just the dead bodies can be well, like you know those who are dead by poison i can remove that effect but i can even you know counteract the poison itself and the person who has the poison and like that they are joking and then they move towards the you know home they start going towards home and there krishna sees a spot near the bank of river yamuna hmm? very clean it is described that the sand was as white as camphor powder and very soft and krishna says just see this is a very nice spot so we can have lunch here hmm? as uh, previously described by acharya that every day all these kind of demons would come to give a interval so that you know they could start having their lunch or you know their food otherwise they would keep playing so then he says that you know this is a place very nice spot there are no birds flying over so we can sit here and eat hmm? and uh, the sand there are no footprints on the sand so that means no one comes here uh, no animals or anything does not come here so we can sit here and they all say yes yes we'll sit so here today we are seeing we'll reflect upon throughout whatever another 15 20 minutes five p's huh so the five p's are the past time which we are describing now what is the past time going on who are the people or persons involved in the past time hmm? what are their characteristics and the place the place is the banks of river yamuna in vrindavan and in every past time in shrimad bhagavatam there is some philosophical point which keeps coming mm-hmm. so some philosophical points will also be discussed and what are the precepts or the lessons that we learn so in the previous purport last line actually prabhupad speaks everyone from brahma down to the small insect must take lessons from krishna so in the previous verse it was described that how brahma ji stole away the cows huh? and krishna he wanted to teach a lesson to brahma ji so through brahma ji he is teaching everyone the lesson all of us so 
here brahma ji he is bewildered seeing that uh, you know how could he have killed he is just a 5 year old boy hmm? and he killed agasur we all saw and the body merging the soul merging in his body and now they are playing uh, they are sitting on the banks and eating hmm? and it was described by earlier speakers that how they were eating uh, without any vedic hymns chanted and without any bell ringing and uh, you know without any procedure or mudras but they were eating some you know half bitten food giving to krishna krishna is also biting something and giving and of course krishna was making some mudras very nice this is very nice uh, anandan chappu describes that that he was making some mudras explain oh this is a very nice prasad so while they are having this food so brahma ji he is thinking that is he krishna huh? such a powerful person but does not seem like that huh? five year old boy what can he do hmm? so he was going through externals and he thought let me test him hmm? so this is uh, you know he admits that in the next chapter prayers of lord brahma probably we may go through that chapter or we may not so i just thought you know we'll speak so in uh, this 14th chapter prayers of lord brahma in the 9th verse lord brahma actually admits uh, he says pashyesh me anaryam anant adye parmatmani tvai api mai 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 ni mayam vitak vitat yekshitum atma vai bhavam yaham kiyan aichhata ivarhit ivahar chir agnau uh, he says my lord just to just see my uncivilized impudence to test your power i try to extend my illusory potency to cover you the unlimited and primeval super soul who bewilder even the masters of illusion what am i compared to you i am just like a small spark in the presence of a great fire hmm? so he admits that he wanted to test the lord to see his power and he wanted to show his power that what power he has you know so just like we were hearing yesterday from avatar lila prabhu that there was this japa retreat hmm? and uh, there was one game that they you know have this arm wrestling you know haath pakad ke aise so few boys they came and uh, they were doing like this and some won some lost and because there was a resistance from other side so equally they are trying to show their power so some wins some loses and then few Brahm, two brahmacharis they came and their hands just went like this and like this so he was explaining there was no resistance so actually both of them win turn by turn hmm? so here lord brahma ji is trying to win over the game by showing his power over lord krishna huh? so just see so that is why that resistance is there why that uh, show of strength is there to show that i am more powerful huh? that is born of false ego which the root lies in envy hmm? so originally envy that develops into false ego that i am something and then we try to show our power so your brahma ji admits he actually says huh, that i was falsely thinking like this hmm. in the next verse verse number 10 he says atah samasvachit me rajo bhuvo yajanatas tvat prithak ish manina ajavale pandh tamondh chakshushu esho nukampaya mai nathavaniti hmm. he says therefore o infallible lord kindly excuse my offenses i have taken birth in the mode of passion and i am therefore simply foolish presuming myself a controller independent of your lordship my eyes are blinded by the darkness of ignorance which causes me to think of myself as the unborn creator of the universe 
but please consider that i am your servant and therefore worthy of your compassion she admits that you know i was affected by false ego thinking prithaki shamanina thinking that i am a controller above you hmm? you are in my jurisdiction in my universe you know so i have power over you like that but he admits in the previous verse that you are ananta and adya huh? so you are the lord of all you know right you are the beginning right so everything is emanation of you so when energy is coming from him from the lord then how can the maya potency energy cover him right so he accepts that he knew but for the time being he was forgetful so we see how here this uh, he is affected by envy huh? and that is so in the place of vrindavan huh? in the in this chapter only in the 60th verse it is described what is vrindavan hmm? he says yatra naisarga durvaira sahasan rigmadaya nri nrimrigadaya mitrani vajita vas druta rut tarshakadikam hmm. vrindavan is the transcendental abode of the lord where there is no hunger anger or thirst though naturally inimical both human beings and fierce animals live there together in transcendental friendship so this is vrindavan we have seen even in some bbt pictures it shows the tiger and deer they are sitting side by side hmm? they are not having any envy seeing another one as my food so i have right to kill but krishna is seeing here that lord brahma ji hmm, his own son born from his own navel on the lotus flower hmm, given the responsibility to facilitate uh, the conditioned souls coming back to him going through the process of purification in the material world and here is he getting affected by this same envy hmm. so how can he tolerate so if there is any problem ha it is said that there are different ways of dealing with problem hmm. so it is said that one should yuk, use yukti ha or you know one should think before solving the problem find different ways so it is said that uh there are these four ways of dealing with any problem hmm? the first is sam that is by trying to explain the situation uh, by discussion then there is daan uh, or by giving some incentive uh, okay you know you take this incentive so you can you know work better like that and then there is bhed or making disparities or comparison and then if nothing works then last is danda or punishment so this has to be applied based on time place and circumstance and it says the niti shastra says that danda which is the most abominable form of uh, you know solving the problem should be used the last when all the others three are exhausted that nothing works so here we see that the persons involved ha huh, in this past time are brahma ji who is lords such a responsible uh, representative hmm, the secondary creator and he is getting affected by this envy and in that envy what has he done okay he has a doubt that whether this person krishna five year old boy is he the same lord of my life you know of my my creator so if you wanted to solve the problem the solve the doubt he could have come and asked you know i have some doubt so as we have heard you know when in doubt ask but he did not follow that he thought let me test hmm? so if he would have come 
let's say to krishna so you know krishna is busy with his coward boy friends he would have just you know yawned are so many people are asking all these questions you know who am i so and in that yawning he would have shown all the universal form universes in his mouth just as he has shown to your mother yashoda he admits that you know that he also knew that past time huh? in the 17th verse of 14th chapter he says that you have shown on this universal forms to mother yashoda and in that mouth showing the universal universal creation you have also entered inside similarly this creation is also your product and you have still entered here also so is it not wonderful so you know he ask forgiveness in that way you know that i am mistake so if he would have asked then krishna would have easily solved the problem mm-hmm. his doubt but brahma ji wanted to test show his power so here krishna he decides okay you know we have to teach lesson to lord brahma so you know he stole all the cows and calves and cowherd boys to test so when he was seeing from his vantage point as uh, in the previous verse it says that you know he was khe sthita ha huh? so he was in the sky and he was seeing all this past time and he thought okay let me test what is the power of krishna by showing my power of illusion so he decided okay i will steal all these calves and cowherd boys and let's see how krishna recipro- responds so does krishna actually understand or does he frantically search here and there and start crying or he comes to me and begs please return let's let's see you know how he responds so while he is thinking all this thing that i will steal away the cows krishna lord krishna understands that you know this is the planning going on with lord brahma so when the calves had gone away and krishna said you don't worry you keep sitting here i'll go and uh, take all the calves uh, he spoke to the coward boys so that time by his yoga maya potency he you know he uh, we can say you know covered all the calves and coward boys also and uh, hid them through his yoga maya potency and created you know uh, duplicate or artificial huh, or uh, illusory coward boys and calves which lord brahma saw so as in the previous verse you know translation uh, purport prabhupad says that the the boys whom we took away they were uh, illusory huh? he says brahma wanted to take away krishna's associates but instead he took away some other boys and calves hmm? and the word similarly uh, the word used is maya arbhaka boys manifested by krishna's maya so yesterday after the class you know there was this question uh, you know some devotees were asking so where the original coward boys went so this is clarified by vishwanath chakravarti thakur in his sarartha darshini that uh, you know in krishna's presence who could actually steal all these calves and coward boys without krishna knowing so he already came to know so he covered all those boys put them to sleep and illusory were created which brahma took them away so later also he says are which are illusory the one who are sitting here when he sees krishna expanded or the one which he took back so you know vishnu chakravarti thakur points out that sukhdev goswami would not say original coward boys to be illusory to ask this question through Brahm, uh, that brahma ji is asking ke which are illusory these one or that one so that means the original were somewhere else huh? so they were enveloped by yog maya potency so that answers the question of you know where the coward boys went and you see these are the devotees coward boys huh? which is described in the beginning of this chapter that they are so, uh, you know 
Kritapunya Punja, that so many, you know, pious activities they must have done that they are actually playing with Krishna and they are very special. So, we see that, you know, even in Srimad Bhagavatam 9th Canto, in the pastime of Amrish Maharaj, so, <coughs> Durvasa Muni, he, you know, tries to harm Amrish Maharaj and then Sudarshan Chakra is behind him. He goes to all the different personalities, powerful. Finally, he goes to Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu says that how he also cannot protect. Because he says that my devotees are so dear to me. And there are some four or five verses in the fourth chapter, starting from verse number 63 to 68. Huh? He says, Aham Bhakta Paradhina, that I am actually subservient to my devotees because they are with so much dedication, offering their lives, their home, everything. Huh? And he ends with the verse, you know, Sadhavaridayam Mahiyam. That oh, actually all these devotees within are within my heart always. And I am in their heart. We are never separated. So these are the kinds of devotees that Brahmaji is trying to steal. To show his power, to test Krishna's power. So how can they be tolerated? Hmm? So, Lord Krishna... Uh, you know, this kidnapping, huh? so this is kidnapping. Huh? He is trying to kidnap not just the coward boys, one or two, but all of them. Previously, some asuras were there, like Vyomasur. He was stealing one by one, huh? and just the cowherd boys acting like cows. But here, he is stealing everybody at the same time, leaving Krishna alone. Huh? So we hear that Krishna is never alone. So he is trying to take away opulences of Lord Krishna in that way, huh? to show his opulence. Huh? So that is the power of envy. So, Lord Krishna, you know, in later past times also we see that similar kind of kidnapping instances they happen. You know, Lord Krishna is enjoying in the forest and the gopis are there and this demon Shankha Chuda, he comes and he starts kidnapping, you know, one by one, taking all the gopis with the stick and then Krishna Balram, Krishna, he chases the demon and he kills him. So he used the fourth process, dand, punishment. But here, that was demon, you know, nothing would work. You know, there was no question of explaining him or giving something in exchange, right? Or comparing. But here, he is a responsible person, hmm? universal manager, supposed to understand things, be intelligent hmm? and given some powers not to misuse but to use. So he says, okay, you know, how to and he is uh, the head of all the demigods, right? He is like the spiritual master of all the demigods in that way that any problem comes, everybody comes to Lord Brahma. What is the solution? Hmm? So he says, you know, how to explain to him, you know, so then he expands like this. Huh? She so uses this, that okay, I'll teach him without anyone coming to know that he has done this. Hmm. So if he would have not expanded, so it would have created so much of uh, lamentation and confusion amongst all the cowherd community. So he expanded himself in all the cowherd boys and calves. And, uh, you know, Anandan Champu, it describes that he even expanded himself into exactly the same type of clothes they were wearing, the same ornaments and their behavioral characteristics. And they all started playing and again they went back. Hmm. So, here we see that, you know, Lord Brahmaji, you know, he mistook Krishna Huh? seeing him as a five-year-old boy. Huh? So, supposed to be intelligent, but his intelligence was covered. So, there is one very nice shloka which says that, you know, it is a good, uh, you know, lesson that we can learn that how any power or, uh, you know, influence, we should not judge through externals. Hmm? So, it says, Hasti sthoolatara sachankusha vasho kim hasti matronkusho 
दीपे प्रज्वलिते प्रणश्यति तमः किं दीपमात्रम तमः वज्रेणा हता पतंती गिरया किं वज्रमात्र गिरीस तेजो यजते स बलवान स्थूलेशु कह प्रत्यय इट सेज दैट एलिफेंट विच इज सच जाइगेंटिक इन साइज साइज हाँ बट इट इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय अ स्मॉल स्टिक यू नो विच हैज अ पॉइंट इट इज कॉल्ड अंकुश और गोल्ड एंड सच अ बिग एलिफेंट इज अंडर कंट्रोल वॉट इज द कंपेरिजन ऑफ द स्मॉल स्टिक एंड सच अ बिग एलिफेंट इट सेज द डार्कनेस विच इज सो ऑल एंड कंपासिंग यू नो कंप्लीट डार्कनेस इट इज लाइक अनलिमिटेड बट अ स्मॉल लैम्प इट डिस्ट्रॉयज प्रणश्यती तमा द डार्कनेस एंड वज्र और द थंडर बोल्ट वी जस्ट हर्ड टू डेज बैक यू नो इन द इवनिंग सो मच थंडर बोल्ट राइट सो द थंडर बोल्ट इट इज सो पावरफुल इट इज वेरी सटल सटलर देन द गोल्ड सटलर देन द लैम्प ऑल्सो वी कैन हैंडल लैम्प बट वी कैंट फिगर आउट वॉट इज द थंडर बोल्ट वेर इट वेर डज इट कम फ्रॉम बट इट कैन ब्रेक द पीक्स ऑफ माउंटेन्स विच इज इवन सच बिग यूज इन साइज सो देर इज नो कंपेरिजन ऑफ ग्रोस और सटल देर इज नो कंपेरिजन दैट वॉट इज द साइज और वॉट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ दिस थंडर बोल्ट एंड वॉट इज दिस माउंटेन और यू नो ऑल दीज थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स सो इट से इज तेजो यस्य विराजते स बलवान सो द पावर डज नॉट लाइ इन द साइज Hmm? that you see someone very huge in size so he must have some power that is you know it can be illusory or it can be you know deceptive so here it says so krishna he says in bhagavad gita tejo tejasvi naam aham ha huh? he is the source of everything he is the real tej so even though he appears like a small 5 year old boy ha huh? and seems to be confused as this verse says that you know he is thinking you know what happened but he is still the same supreme personality of godhead and in the purport prabhupada explains that lord krishna he acted like that and he covered brahma's understanding by his maya and he says this was all a dramatic performance Hmm. so some drama is going on you know it's like that and he says a player knows everything but still he plays on the stage in such a way that others do not understand him so here you know in so many verses throughout the shrimad bhagavatam it is described that how krishna appears in this world taking the human form uh, appearing like a ordinary person but he is not ordinary he is extraordinary hmm. in first canto first chapter you know the sages they are making so many inquiries so in the 20th verse it says you know kritvan kil karmani saharamena keshava atimartyam bhagavan atimartyani bhagavan gudha kapat manusha hmm? so lord shri krishna who is the personality of godhead bhagavan hmm? along with balram ji played like a human being and so masked like an actor putting some mask he performed superhuman activities ha huh? amartyani so here it says that you know how krishna he acts as if he is a human being what is the purpose you know he says in bhagavad gita why he actually comes here that to uh, you know subdue the air religion and to protect the devotees but we hear from the acharyas actually that is not a real reason because that can be done hmm? by his energy itself demons killing it is very simple you know the nature is very powerful it can immediately vanquish whole city in the form of tsunami or earthquake but uh, you know krishna does not come for that reason he comes to just attract the hearts so we see that when we want entertainment we want our you know satisfaction of heart so many people they go watch some drama that was some some years back now movies huh? 
so that is all drama but it enchants our heart so much that there are people who start crying seeing you know the actors acting huh? so they actually participate in the drama so similarly krishna comes in this material world displaying all his this is not mundane drama this is the drama which he is doing which is transcendental he, they are actually his own pastimes in the spiritual world and attracts our heart and makes us part of that leela if we are absorbed hmm? and in that way we become purified so krishna is acting like a actor huh? even uh, kunti maharani she says nato natya dharo yatha huh? you are acting as if some actor on the stage right but who can actually understand what is the position of krishna huh? so in the second chapter of the first canto and the sages when they are you know inquiring the in the answers it is described that you know from the verse number 17 till verse number 20 and it says shrinvatam swakatha krishna punya shravan kirtana ridiyanta sthoya bhadrani vidhunoti suretsatam so when we regularly when when we actually hear shrinvatam swakatha krishna hear the krishna's lord krishna's pastimes and activities hmm? it removes all the unwanted things abhadrani huh, inauspicious things which are in our heart what are those envy anger lust pride because of which we actually krishna is right in front but still lord brahma ji who just few moments back was praising lord krishna is confused hmm, because of that envy so all those kinds of abhadrani can be removed by shrinvatam swakatha krishna but just one time hearing is enough the next verse immediately says no nashta prayeshu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata seva that we hear it regularly on a regular basis prabhupada translates attending shrimad bhagavatam class regularly huh? so that is removed and surit satam and then the you know goodness it comes and then the next verse says that tadarajas tamo bhavat kama lobhade huh? che that the effects of passion and ignorance manifest in the form of envy anger lust they subside and pure goodness starts coming so brahma ji he admits that i am born out of rajo ha huh? achyut me rajo bhuva that i am born out of passion that's why i was affected by this desire to test you so the bhagavatam also says what is the cure if you rehear regularly the effects of passion and ignorance subside slowly and then in the 20th verse it says evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogata bhagavat tattva vigyanam mukta sangasya jayate thus established in the mode of unalloyed goodness the man whose mind has been enlivened by contact with devotional service to the lord gains positive scientific knowledge of the personality of godhead in the stage of liberation from all material association yeah so you know one may say are all these things are already there in bhagavatam so krishna by his potency you could have you know checked you know lord brahma also doing all these things when he thought immediately as parmatma within his heart he must have given the spurti are remember all these verses you know we have heard right directly from krishna but you know krishna through one past time you know he is known to you know do many things by just one act huh? so just like we say you know ek teer mein do nishane like that so here he wanted to show used brahma to show us to give us this lesson that don't judge don't judge through externals don't judge krishna's past times or his devotees by externals huh? but do it if you have any doubt come submissively and ask hmm? as the process he has given in bhagavad gita huh? that uh, pariprashnena sevaya like that but here he saw that brahma ji did not have that mood ha huh? so one of the niti shastras actually says that when should a person actually give someone some lesson 
और सम एडवाइस इट सेज वाच्यम वाच्यम श्रद्धा समेत पृछते विशेषत प्रोक्त श्रद्धा विहीन से अरण्य रुदितोपम सिर्फ पर्सन आस्क विथ फेथ समथिंग टू यू एंड यू स्पीक सो दैट इज गुड यू नो दैट मे वर्क इफ ही टेक्स प्रॉपरली बट इफ समन डज नॉट हैव फेथ सो योर एडवाइस इज लाइक क्राइंग इन फॉरेस्ट इट इज ऑफ नो यूज सो वन शुड अवॉइड स्पीकिंग टू पीपल हु आर फेथलेस दैट शॉर्ट भगवदीता कृष्णा सेज इन द एंड that those who are without any faith don't speak this so krishna saw that brahma ji has not come with that consciousness to understand he has come you know affected or uh, being uh, you know he is so much uh, uh, like you know uh, overcome with the desire to show his power let's see you know he is showing so much power at the age of 5 let me show something Huh? So he did not have that mood of understanding actually, factually, you know what Krishna is, or is Krishna really the supreme personality of Godhead? So here we see. Okay, so with this, he cleared his doubt huh, by displaying such opulence that when Krishna, when Lord Brahma actually came after earthly calculation of one year, for him just a moment. and he was seeing and krishna expanded you know all the vishnu forms and bhagavatam explains not just the vishnu forms were there but so many lord shivas and brahma and different demigods were there praising all those vishnu forms with the universal creation surrounded and then suddenly they disappeared so then krishna lord brahma came to his senses but with this krishna also wanted to reciprocate with all the cowherd boys uh, all the uh, you know cowherd community right sometimes you know when we we hear that you know, it is described that when krishna was at home all the cowherd boys were in separation that when the day will rise and you know they will go to forest and when they would go to forest all the mothers and the cowherd girls you know the young girls they would be thinking are when will krishna return huh? so they were always having some kind of separation like that but here krishna used this past time to expand himself into all those each and every thousands of cowherd boys and calves to reciprocate the love with all the cowherd men in the community all the cowherd men all the cowherd you know mothers and we here during that time huh? even krishna got married to all the cowherd girls right so in this one past time he actually accomplished so much and for one full year he recipro- kept reciprocating so such intense love with all the you know brajwasis so he used this as past time he used this as an opportunity and later we see that uh, when indra came so use that also to simultaneously reciprocate with everyone there everyone was assembled here he was individually you know having past times with them but here and it was covered they did not know that he is krishna but they were reciprocating love like they would do to krishna and that was bewildering to balram ji after a year when he saw he, what is this happening you know they are loving all these cowherd boys and cows are loving their calves as if they are you know loving krishna that way so how is this so then this past time is revealed that you know this this is what you know happened so using this past time so that shows you know the brilliance of lord krishna that any situation he uses for his own enjoyment ha huh? he reciprocates fully with everybody he reciprocated with lord brahma he wanted to learn a lesson the hard way he learned all the cowherd boys you know uh, all the cowherd community they wanted to exchange the affection so they had that so here we see so you know i did not segregate you know the different peas but you know we can analyze 
what all those philosophical points and you know, other things are there. So, um, I am four minutes over time. So, thank you very much for uh, allowing the opportunity to speak about Lord Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai.